Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Amber from Mystic Eyes The Journey and I am back with another channeled message and today I am channeling for the Libra Collective. So if you are a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're just interested in tapping into the energies of Libra, then this message is for you. So as I go into this energy, and as I started my day really, there was a really significant push um, for protection and cleansing at this time. So whatever your typical cleansing rituals are, it's time to up it, <laughs> take it to the next level, or maybe even um, up the frequency in which you are cleansing at this time. I got a visual of American football, which I am a fan of. <laughs> But in American football, I was seeing this three-point stance, which is when both feet are on the ground, one hand is on the ground, and one hand is up. And it's that moment right before the offense and the defense charge towards one another. And I'm seeing the collective energies right at the touchdown line. And if you know anything about American football, when there's space between the offense and the touchdown line, you're able to throw the ball, right? You're able to throw across the field and create distance and these beautiful moments where somebody catches and runs straight to the end. But the closer you get to that line with your team, it's not really an option to throw the ball, right? Whoever's holding the ball kind of has to use all of their will, all of their might to charge forward and break past that defense. And that's what I'm feeling in the collective energy at this time. I feel like particularly the Libra collective. So I'm being brought to seventh house, regardless of um, what your Zodiac placements are, that this is relative to relationships and goals. There's some sort of a boundary. Um, a better word for it is a resistance to you getting to that touchdown line. But I want to really make it clear you are so close. You are so close. And that's why it's requiring so much grit and so much willpower to push through. Because at that point, the defense is at its strongest. It's pushing back as hard as it possibly can. Sorry about that. <laughs> One of my kids was trying to open the door. Anyway, um, yeah, it's that moment where you're pushing through as hard as you can while that opposition is pushing back, but trust that the divine is supporting you. The divine is your teammates that are pushing that resistance with you. You're not alone, okay? So as usual, we're going to get into uh, tarot and oracle just to pick up some any, any additional messages. Now, the cards that I was attracted to this morning are very earthly, very earthy energies, lots of browns. So I am getting a message that it might be helpful at this time to give offerings to the earth. Um, so this would be like planting seeds, planting trees, cleaning up any like crap you see outside, um, <clears throat> things of that nature, setting up a, a birdhouse or a bird bath or anything along those lines, I think is going to be really helpful to shifting the energy so that you can push through and get a little bit more support behind you. What else? I'm also feeling like whatever that goal is, it is in the material realm with these really earthly energies that want to come through. <clears throat> so let's get right into it. I have um, the Angel Wisdom Tarot today. A lot of angelic support here. In, I want to say in conjunction, uh, I don't know what's going on in the planets, if there's any interesting conjunctions going on or you have any interesting conjunctions within your chart. But I'm getting in conjunction with the earth, the angelic realm in conjunction with the earth spirits. This is beautiful. As I was um, stepping into the energy this morning, I was brought to a prayer, uh, a yogic prayer. And uh, it's about using your words and your actions and your thoughts to better the collective, to better everybody, <clears throat> including yourself. But anytime I'm being drawn to the energy of yoga, it's about bringing earth to heaven and heaven to earth. So spirit wants you to know, Libra, that you have both of these energies behind you. 
as your offense. <laughs> okay, so we have the death card. First and foremost. Well, in this particular deck, it's transformation. Now we have renewal, <laughs> which is the judgment card in this deck. Very cool. All right, back of the deck, we have balance. This is temperance. This is all major arcanas here. Let's read this. Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. That's what I'm talking about. Earth energies and angelic energies, blending them together. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, <laughs> self-control, patience, and balance. Yeah, you're, cre you're being asked to create this balance between earthly energies and angelic energies at this time. So you may be somebody that primarily works with angelic, uh, the angelic realms. Uh, you're being asked to maybe open up your scope and see if you can figure out a way to connect the celestial energies with the earth, right? I think a really great way to do that is working with flowers personally, because the beauty of the flowers reminds me of the angelic realm, but it's grounded here on the earth plane. All right, so transformation, a significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination and releasing old systems and beliefs. Okay, yeah, so we're letting go of something, and then we have a renewal right next to the transformation, the death and the renewal, the death and the rebirth right next to one another. That's incredible. We have the Mercury symbol here. So I do feel like there's an aspect of communication that is being improved upon here. I do believe we're in Mercury retrograde at this time. So be aware that things are going to start coming up from the past, right? Because transformation, we're clearing away old systems and beliefs in order to renew. This is, this is also protection and cleansing energy, renewal, cleansing. <laughs> All right. And then next to that, we have justice. This is you, Libra. Hey. So we have three major arcanas here right now. We have death, judgment, justice. This is big. <laughs> this is big deal energy, okay? And I know you can feel it in the collective. I know everybody can feel it at this time. So things are coming into balance. This is about standing up for what you believe in and seeing all sides of a situation. As long as you're acting with integrity, you're going to prevail. You're at that finish line. This is a time to really cleanse your energy. Make sure that you don't have any straggly, you know, weird egoic things, right? Because transformation is an energy of releasing the ego, right? The things that the ego clings onto. Because the spirit and the soul understands non-attachment, right? It understands flow and change. It's the ego that wants to hold on to the old so that the new can't find its place to step forward, right? We need to bring balance into a situation, right? Because we have balance here with the temperance, but we also have balance with the justice. Wow, okay, what else do we have? Oh, the four of wands, beautiful time. So much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. Okay. Yeah, this is what's coming in. This is what wants to step in once you let go of the old systems, right? This renewal, this judgment, this rebirth is peace in home and in family. Right now, this is positioned underneath the transformation. So perhaps there are old systems and beliefs that are attached to what you consider family. Right? That energy wants to be cleansed. It wants to be cleared away so that the new can step forward and to bring balance back into your life. Underneath renewal or judgment, we have the Page of Pentacles. Scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous, time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. A new area of study. Okay, yes. So this is like we're letting go of the old systems of the past creating a new, I'm getting um, soul family, I'm getting chosen family here, letting go of the old so that you can bring in the new. And the new also comes with a new opportunity, something to celebrate. There's something big to celebrate here. And it does feel like it has to do with something in the material realm. Look at this, five of cups, 
focusing on the negative, right? Underneath justice, focusing on the negative, things not turning out the way you anticipated, forgiveness of self and others. Everything happens for a reason and look for the hidden blessings. I just saw 1010. There's a completion of a cycle here, right? We're bringing into balance these new opportunities, these new things to celebrate, balancing it with the loss, right? You've had to let go of something with the death card next to the renewal. I was picking up on offerings here, right? There was something that you have had to let go of, give an offering in order to bring about this new life. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, you had to sacrifice maybe an old career, an old career path that you thought that you would spend your ent entire life pursuing. That's what I'm seeing for some people. For some people, I'm seeing a sacrifice of what felt stable in the past as far as home and family, releasing that so that you can step into peace and prosperity, 11, 11 on the clock. Yeah, and that's what for of wands is it's 11 11 you've been wishing for this and it's about to come through because i'm seeing this american football line up right in front of the touchdown line right but you have to push through that because you have to know that the opposition at this point is going to push back as hard as they can to keep you from stepping past that threshold but you have you have spirit you have spirit of the heavens and you have spirit of the earth. One, four, four. Just saw one, four, four. <laughs> okay, what else? I'm going to go into Oracle. I feel like that's all that really needs to be said. We got four major arcanas on the table here. Clarified by minor. You know, you're about to start something new. You're about to start on a new journey. Right? And check out this five of cups here, right? He's focused on those three cups that have spilt. And when he's ready to, right, taking that moment of contemplation, connecting with the water, connecting with his emotions and how he feels as those three cups spill. And when he's ready, he will turn around and he will see that there are two new opportunities there for him. That's what I'm picking up on here. Two new opportunities. One opportunity is in the physical realm. You're being offered an opportunity to start something new in your career, a new path, okay? That's going to be an excellent opportunity. It promotes you in some way. For some of you, I think it's a whole new career path because you've let go of the past path. And with the Four of Wands, there's something to celebrate within your love life, within your idea of family some sort of a rebirth yeah <laughs> one more boop <laughs> i don't know why i heard that boop roll the dice on the back now we have limitations here obstacles are not what they seem you can get around them with some careful thought or simply choose something better for you yeah that's what this is right that energy of the defensive line pushing back against you right i feel like that opposition was something that wanted to keep you small and keep you with them right so if this is a job this is not wanting you to see your potential this is not wanting you to see what you can actually bring to this collective to the world right if, it, if they keep you small then they can continue to benefit from your efforts and your energy right all right, so take that as it resonates within career or within family, right? Because both of these energies are here very, very strong, right? You're having to see past the limitations and you're choosing something better for yourself. Ooh, 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 okay, what else? We got manifesting. You have the power to manifest what you've been, what you want by writing your intentions down and taking inspired action to make it happen, right? I feel like, here with that manifestation, we have the peacock, which is like a symbol of beauty and putting yourself out there to be seen. I just saw one four four four. If you've been seeing four four four, that's your significant your significator that you're close. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, 
the peacock's energy is being seen and putting yourself out there, right? The limitations, not wanting to be seen. This also highlights the co collaboration between you and spirit, as well as the heavens and the earth conspiring together to bring you towards these new opportunities coming in at the same time two opportunities coming in at the same time we got these two cups with balance we've got these two cups here behind him we've got these two swords two scales we've got these two flags in renewal okay there are two things that are coming in for you two areas of your life that are undergoing a transformation, death, and a rebirth. Money matters. Money matters a lot now. Watch your expenses and save up for the future. You need to be prepared for the unexpected. Okay, I feel like for some of you, there's going to be some kind of a windfall. There's going to be a windfall, a significant amount of money that is to be used for a particular thing. <laughs> I feel like spirit is like, you know what to use it for. Money matters a lot now. Check your relationship to money at this time, okay? There may be some cleansing work or clearing work that you can do around your relationship to money, right? So maybe you're one to hold it really, really quickly or, excuse me, really, really tightly, not let it go. You might also be the type of person that is on the other extreme, right? Because we're talking about balance. We're talking about justice here, finding that balance that you're like hot potato. The money comes in your hand, hook. Let's go buy something. Let's get rid of this money. Okay, both of those mindsets are out of alignment with long-term wealth. Okay, then we have journey. Mr. Guys, the journey. You may move to a new place for work or travel for work. Exploring the world gives you the experience you need to succeed. Yeah, for some of you, <clears throat> when Spirit said, <clears throat> excuse me, you know what the money's for? For some of you, it's a move. Some of you, it's a physical move, buying a house. For some of you, it's a travel or a vacation, okay? Spirit said that you know what that's what it is for. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's time to go in inward, do some meditation, ask for this information in your dream state because you have a lot of spiritual support behind you. All right, I'm going to leave these out and I'm going to go into one more oracle deck and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up august is here so you may be dealing with a leo or a virgo um august also represents um could represent timing for you maybe something that you started in august or something that uh will come to full fruition in august also where i'm from august is like the hottest month of the year and i'm getting some desert energy here with the journey hopefully that focuses yes so the pyramids in the desert so you could be asked to go somewhere that is very warm very hot very desert like i did a reading on the spirit of the desert so there may be some messages in that for you Oy. all right that'll do that'll do just fine okay august Time to get out of a situation, yeah. <laughs> this is that death, right? Something that you released or something that needs to be released. I'm also picking up heavy this Five of Cups energy here, right? The spilled pail, the spilled water. Taking the time to allow yourself to sip with the emotions that come with this release, right? Letting the water flow. And let that water, those emotions, plant or nurture the seeds that you're planting so that they'll grow. The bag, something important such as a new job or a raise. Okay, yeah, there's something, you, you're about to get a bag, <laughs> as they say, <laughs> right? This is either gonna be an opportunity, a raise, um, some sort of significant shift in money matters is coming through the boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal, yeah. That's that energy of, uh, the defensive line that I'm picking up on, that last push, push with everything that you have, knowing that spirit is there with you. This last leg is gonna take a lot of endurance. It's gonna take a lot of power and a lot of digging deep. That's why it's gonna be really important for cleansing rituals, protection rituals at this time. Um, 
I'm making offerings. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my God, love it. The angel is here with you. Spiritual guidance and protection from harm, right? You have angelic protection, you have earthly protection, you have spiritual guidance, you have protection. Okay, so don't go into this energy with fear, okay? Yes, the defensive line is pushing back, but that's okay. That's okay as long as you're moving within the energy of integrity. You will be successful. That's the way the universe works. This is the law of the universe, right? Justice is about law. This is the law of the universe. So there is nothing to fear. There's nothing to worry about. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much, Libra, for allowing me to tap into your energy and collect all of these beautiful messages to give to y'all. I really appreciate it. If this resonated with you, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And until we meet again, namaste.